Hey, how's it going everybody? This video is completely long overdue and I would like to apologize for that, but I promise you I've been here, there, uh, gone to California for about a week. I came back and I debated making this video right after, um, right after the news, I guess I'll say. By now I'm sure you guys know based off of the title, but I wanted to make the video right away but all I had was my uh, laptop, so I wanted to make this in the typical uh, quality that I that I normally do. And so, yes, I have passed my CCIE um, in writing and switching about uh, uh, two weeks ago, yeah, October the fifteenth. And so, um, I'm I, I couldn't be happier. It's it's a little. Uh, it's a little weird making this video two weeks af after the fact because my heart has already stopped beating like crazy. Um, I felt very good about the exam. I felt like I prepared very well with IP Expert, with uh, INE, uh, through the ATC courses and the workbooks. So I like to extend my thank you to them uh, and also to all my viewers and all my uh, followers out there. Um, I know a lot of you find some inspiration in my videos and I thank you every day for um, coming and telling me and asking me about how I do what I do and how I'm able to learn uh, what things that uh, I need to purchase uh, any tips I really do appreciate that and uh, it, it makes my day even more gratifying than what it already is so there's been a lot of people that I uh, that have been with me throughout this entire journey and uh, I'm gonna list a few of them here um, first of all uh, my grandmother was probably the most supportive person throughout this entire process um, you know th throughout the I guess first maybe uh, six months or so it was you know out of work six o'clock to twelve o'clock and she was always there to you know have a hot meal ready for me um, you know, and, and she, you know, she took that upon herself to come and to do that for me while I focused on studying. So that was during the, uh, while I was going through the ATC videos, you know, pretty much the moment I got home from work, it was just me grinding. And so she took it upon herself to help me. And, um, she, she always has done that. And I, I'd like to thank her here um, because without her, I, I don't know if I would have done it. And she always encouraged me to pursue my dreams, to do what I thought was impossible, and make it possible. So I know she probably won't see this on YouTube, but thank you so much for that, Grandma. Uh, the second person I'd like to thank is uh, my girlfriend, Shelby. Uh, uh, I don't think anybody knows here, but um, my girlfriend and I have moved in together uh, since I got my job at Cisco uh, so we've been living together and of course you know uh, we've been together for about uh, four four years and counting and throughout the 18 months of my CCIE journey she was always very supportive she let me have the time that I needed in order to study uh, nights and weekends and uh, it was even lunch hours so it, I know this must have been really hard on her, especially the last couple of months that we've been that we've been living together. You know, having to to keep up with the apartment. Uh, we got a dog, uh, a little Boston Terrier, so so she's been in charge of of those ty type of duties without my help. So, big shout out to her. Thank you very much, Shelby, for all your support. Uh, I couldn't couldn't have asked for a better partner uh, in life. So, uh, I appreciate that you take into account my dreams and, and you allow me to go out there and fulfill them and I, I plan to do the same for you. So, uh, thank you. Uh, the third person that I'd like to thank, and there's way more than three people that I need to thank, but these are the three that I think made a really big impact on, uh, on my life. And third is uh, my Uncle Rocky. So, my Uncle Rocky uh, brought me into IT from a very, very young age. I mean, I was maybe two years old when he had uh, a consulting business. So I've been around computers since MS-DOS. Um, so 
I remember being able to type on a keyboard before I even knew my alphabet, uh, you know, to get on the computer and play Doom. And um, it, it's just been, you know, a lot of learning and a lot of inspiration that I drew from my uncle. And I know that I wouldn't have been able to find my true passion so quickly if it weren't for him. I, I feel like I'm one of the lucky ones. I was able to find what I love to do at a very early age and it, it pretty much was um, almost without question uh, definitely the thing that I wanted to pursue for the rest of my life and now I know that uh, that statement was true. I mean it, it, it definitely uh, my career has brought me a lot of happiness in life. Um, of course it's not the only thing that brings me happiness but uh, the fact of the matter is that we spend so much of our lives at work, so much of our lives working. Um, so to me, it only makes sense that you would be doing a career. You would be in a career that you would really enjoy. And I'm really enjoying my career as of now. So again, I passed my CCIE. Uh, what are my plans next time or in the next couple weeks or months? Right now, I tell um, everybody, I am just learning for fun. I'm no longer studying um, per se, I'm learning for fun. So I'm going through the CCNP track for data center. I plan to do the same for wireless and uh, try to hone in on route switch, wireless data center. I, I really want those to be my focus uh, as I move forward for the next couple of years in, in my career. So uh, that's, that's where I'm at now. And it's great not having to be studying um, for the purpose of passing an exam. I mean, I can't tell you the weight off of my shoulder now that I don't have to really prepare for an exam. I just need to learn. So, and I've always been a big proponent of learning even after you get out of college, even after you've already have gotten well into your career. It's so important, especially for IT, to continue learning uh, because you will be left behind if you don't. So uh, just some advice to you guys out there. Um, find a study partner. Oh, and I absolutely have to mention uh, my buddy, uh, my, my study partner, Jason, uh, and also uh, my study partner, Rob. He, he came in towards uh, you know the, the tail end, maybe about three or two weeks. But uh, studying in a group has definitely been one of the, the greatest things that I ever did. So my buddy Jason approached me about six months ago and asked me if I wanted to be in a study group, just him and I. So we kind of cranked out all the labs. We used each other's strengths. Uh, we were able to explain things to each other. So, uh, you know, very big um, mention there is that Jason has, was also a very big part of, of my CCIE studying. So thank you very much, Jason. Um, uh, I know that you're going to pass uh, the exam on your next attempt. It's going to happen. We're going to do it. So um, big, big thank you to you. I, I would not be here for sure if it weren't for you. So back, back to my advice. Um, definitely, if you can study in a group, in a group of people, uh, one, you might want to get with a large group of people, maybe about eight to 12 or so, uh, or maybe a little less, maybe a little more of people going towards the same goal. And then towards, I guess, the tail end of your studying, you really want to focus on maybe one or two individuals that are kind of on the same path and knowledge level as you are and try to hammer out the test. And uh, sometimes I know it's hard finding individuals that are dedicated or just as dedicated as you are, as my viewers, to your studies. But be sure that you find somebody and you stick with somebody uh, that's in it for the long haul and that's going to bring you some value and you're going to be able to bring him some value him or her some value so anyways guys um, thank you so much for watching this video signing off is CCIE number 50 640 thanks